What's going on guys, it's Samari James here back again with Greater by the Hour and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to remove people from your images and if you're wondering why last episode and this episode similar, why I'm wearing the same thing and it's exactly the same literally five minutes ago I just finished off the last video so just want to back shoot it this is my kind of my debut year for 2020 I want this to be my year I want to try and get my um, my goal is to try and at least at least get 500 for, um, subscribers on this YouTube channel but today I'm going to be um, showing you how to remove people from your background in your images so as we can see this is my friend William his Instagram is at william.ldn and yeah this was one time I think a couple months ago when um, we went to Chinatown here in, I think in Soho and yeah we just um, did some street photography and boom this is his mask and um, my glasses it was quite cool just ordered them the day before Amazon Prime shipping came in clutch but despite that as we saw in the last video you can easily just we're just starting off in Lightroom so you can easily just go to Auto um, Tone so we get more we just get more out of the image so okay so as we can see this is before and this is after brightens it up let me just for speed and um, effectiveness I'm just going to put on one of my presets so I'm gonna put on clarity bump I quite like this let me just kind of bring it do I want yeah more contrast more bring up the shadows a bit bring down those highlights especially from here let's put a radial fil radio filter around William invert that so we can make it just a tad brighter because he is the subject of the image and as you can see boom let me just crop that quickly Boom, that is perfect so my objective is to get people like from here here and yeah quite a bit of areas out of the image and let me just quickly put my phone on silent boom phones on silent what's the time now what's the time now? so what i want to do i'd like to go into photoshop photoshop so you press control command and e so it's editing in photoshop let's just wait for this to beat up so while this beats up how was your day mine was pretty all right if you are asking i went to perks and whites just did a bit of homework business literature final exam is next year so i'll have to get ready for that blah blah blah, blah. and photography's photography's gone well Man, take more photos been doing emails out with people yeah i want to get into i want to try work for constantine and all of them like harry at nightscape and yeah but i'll save that for another video so as we can see lightroom's open i mean lightroom photoshop has opened and as you can see the image is looking quite well first off i don't people like to just unlock this but i just press command j just make a um, layer so at least there's a background layer if i do loads and loads and loads of edits it's just that it saves me time from going back and then the ram doesn't remember the first image and blah blah blah, blah. so as we can see here and what i like to do let me just quickly zoom in a bit by pressing command and plus i'll just get the lasso tool and just press l on your keyboard and you just want to paint away so let's remove this moment so you want to i don't have the greatest mouse i don't even have um, the big magic trackpad so i'm just using my trackpad on my laptop not the best and most accurate so as you can see I painted around this um, woman and what you want to do you want to press shift and backspace and what it will say is fill and I just go to content aware press ok and I was doing it on the wrong layer so click the layer what's visible and as you can see it 
kind of it takes the woman out but as you can see it's trying to get samples from these little areas around the street and if you're looking at that for the first glance like you're on Instagram you're scrolling past that's fine but once that's in I might just go with the where is it the spot healing brush bring down that brush size a bit and I might just paint but if that's not working what you can also do you can press S to bring out the clone stamp tool bring down that size go to option or alt on windows and you just want to go to different areas you just want to paint that in and as you can see when I press down it has a little cross so that's able to that kind of show where you're painting it from and if I, the more I move the more it will go to different place, places so I want to get this pole in so let me just paint that don't like that because there's that blue thing so let me just cut from up here don't like that either let me bring down the brush size get it from there so as you can see the more I paint down it's more copying and pasting from other places so just want to be take your time with this as you can see it the more I hover it will show where it's going to be placed this is just going to be a fast job I don't like that so let me just go back to this little corner here boom and if you check from afar that looks quite natural if you weren't looking so the woman's out of the, out of the image I'm not going to really bother about this couple here because it's just way too complex I don't think there's enough information for the for the computer to handle but the best time to use it as Peter McKinnon showed in his video it's when you're doing a landscape shot in a tourist heavy um, site and you, you got the perfect shot but there's people in the way so you can easily just take them out but they're all spread out this is the heart of Chinatown so it's going to be very packed loads of people yada 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 so let's try on this guy let's just quickly draw around him oh, oops. need to get a proper mouse map so as you can see boom trace around it content aware and you can see it did quite quite a good job not the best but it tried and i say a e for effort so what we want to do we just want to paste over this so it's doing quite a good job if you want you can be as thorough as you want as well don't be afraid it's just this is this is a more complex job because it's in chinatown I say if you're going through this and not really paying attention, I think you can get away with it. Let me just. So these are just two people what I have what I've removed. So here is before and here is after. As you can see, it's not a big difference to the overall image, but it can. If you're doing this in the right circumstances, it can do wonders. So. If you guys did like this video please leave a like and a comment below and hopefully you go check out my instagram at greater by the hour and i'll see you guys in the next video